Sets. Tom Segudo here. And you're probably wondering what I'm doing making another tip because last week I just gave you the best tip of my life. The best swing tip I could ever give you. The best swing tip ever. And so I didn't know what to do making this next tip. I thought maybe it was no more tips the rest of the time because I gave you the best tip. What else do we have to do? And then I realized, well, I gave you my best putting tip about three weeks ago. We're going to be covering the second best putting tip. So three weeks ago, we had putting and controlling the club face, the most important aspect of putting, starting the ball on your intended line. If you master club face control, you're going to be an excellent putter. You're going to start the ball on your line. But there's another component we didn't talk about, and that's the stroke. How hard to hit it. That has a huge impact on the direction of the putt, especially when there's break involved. But it's even more important if you're one of those people that has no control over speed whatsoever. Meaning that sometimes you're taking it back, it goes through like really fast, or you're, taking, you're jerking it back really fast, or you're coming through really slow, you'll take it back fast and come through slow, or the wrists are doing everything, and there's no consistency. This episode is going to get rid of all your problems. All of them. So, what I got here is a ball and a putter. We're going to learn the gravity-based putting stroke because it's the most consistent thing on this planet and requires the least amount of effort and practice for you. I don't practice my putting as often as I should because this method allows me to be consistent day in, day out. And when you're busy, you really don't want to practice putting. You just want to hit driver all day anyway. Tell me the truth. So, let's jump into the, what the putting stroke is. First thing, throw grip, stance, Posture, alignment, except for face alignment. Throw the stance, like Jack Nicholas used to pump with like a little open stance and, and just throw all that, that stuff out the window. As long as when you're coming through the ball, the club face is not rolling and doing a bunch of things. It's coming through consistent. As long as you're doing that, you're going to be good all day long. Here's what I need you to do with the putting stroke. You're going to take it back and we're just going to gently rock it through. The gravity-based method relies on the weight of the putter head. A consistent and good putting stroke goes back the same and through the same. It's just very gradual. Hey, look at this. Check that out. There's no manipulation going on here. I'm not forcing anything. Get the word force out of your mind. We're not forcing anything. We're going to allow the club to do the work. So gravity-based putting. You'll be very consistent if, one, you can feel the weight of the putter head. Well, you might be saying, Tom, I don't know what the, how heavy the putter head is or I can't feel the weight of it. What you're going to do to feel the weight is you're going to lighten up your grip pressure. And if you still can't feel it, your putter's probably too light. Add some lead tape to the bottom or get a heavier putter. All right? Once you're able to feel the weight of the putter head, you can feel how gravity controls the stroke. I want you to imagine a wrecking ball. If you take the putter back, it's like our wrecking ball. We're going to knock a building down. I take the putter back, and now the only thing I want to get in the way is gravity. So to get it started with the wrecking ball, you just got to nudge it a little bit, and it's going to go into the building. Same thing here, nudging the putter forward just a little bit. Just going to give it a gentle push, a gentle push with the right hand. You're just getting started. So I'm taking it back, just push it a little bit. Just a gentle push. It goes through the same amount every time. It's like a pendulum. Remember that little, those little toys? Not toys, but they used to be in offices. Like a <laughs> That's exactly what gravity-based putting is. You got this perpetual motion. Because we're just getting it started. <laughs> anyway, a little blip there. So, gravity-based putting, taking it back, gently pushing it through. Here we go, taking it back, gently pushing it through. Same putting stroke every single time. If you want to hit it farther, you go back farther. But you just push it through the same, you're getting it started. If you want to hit it farther, I go back farther. So if I want to lag putt, there you go. I mean, it goes through the same. Now, I can hit a million three-footers all day from this distance, take it back the same and through the same, and I will hit the same speed every single time. I'm going to be consistent. I'm just nudging the putter through. I'm getting it started, gravity does the rest. It's a very gradual acceleration. So watching this putting stroke, y'all at home watch this putting stroke. Start doing some putts on the, on the wood floors with this. It's very consistent. 
Like I said, I don't practice putting nearly as often as I should, but my putting week to week stays about the same because my putting stroke is extremely consistent. So I don't worry too much about what's going to happen here. I know the biggest problem a lot of people have is club face. Second biggest problem is they don't know how to control the speed. If you just take the variable speed out of the equation by allowing gravity to do the work, all you can think about is the club face. You'll be hitting that doorstop all day. So, um, now that you've got the second best putting tip in the world, armed with this information, don't tell any of the buddies in your group because you don't want them to be better than you at putting. You want to dominate at putting. So, let them keep doing their putting flaws and you've got this new weapon, which is this putting tip using gravity instead of just forcing everything to happen. Best tip you can ever get in golf, mentally, the best mental tip is to give up control. If you give up control, you're going to get control. You have to give up control to get control. So stop trying to control the putt. Allow it to happen. It's going to happen. I mean, that's like a life model. Stop, give up control to get control in life. Imagine how many situations would be improved if you just let go of the steering wheel for five seconds. In golf, we do the same thing. I'm letting go of the steering wheel. I just got that door stop right there. Boom. It's money all day. I mean, I'm giving up control. There's no control. There's a door stop. Here's an eight-footer. Oh, right on the day. Okay. Right all day long. All right, golfers and golf heads. Tom Segudo here, helping you all make the most out of the game you love. So have an awesome week. Start making some putts. You'll be the most consistent putter out there. And I look forward to seeing you in a future episode. I don't know what else to make tip-wise. I gave you my two best tips. It doesn't get any better. So I guess we just gotta, I mean, how do I, how do, I, how do you follow up the two best tips? I can only go uphill from here. Um, anyways, have a rockin' week and I'll see you in a future episode.